Welcome to another exciting episode of I can't cast because of elbow pain I can only fish the pee Good morning everyone, we're out here on the pier again, a different pier this time. We're uh, a little bit south of where we normally are. Last video we did, we fished from the pier, we caught a lot of sardines. So I wanted to try this pier because I heard that there were a lot of mackerel being caught here. I certainly can't surf fish at this time because my elbow is still killing me. This angler's elbow is just not going away. So there's no way that surf fishing is in my future right now, uh, let alone kayak fishing where I have to lift a very, very heavy kayak on top of my car. And I haven't caught really big mackerel for a very long time. The last time I actually had caught a big mackerel was on this pier and that was a couple of years ago. So haven't visited here in a while. Hopefully we can get on some big mackerel. All right, we got something here. Looks, looks like it's a good size. I think it might be a mackerel. Okay, there we go, a nice size mackerel. Greenback mackerel right there, it's the target species we're after. So far today, this is the biggest one of the day, so I'm pretty happy about that. Careful if you haven't handled a mackerel before. They have this needle-like spike protruding near their butt. It's really easy to miss. Make sure to cut that off when you're cleaning it. All right, here's the fish all cleaned up and ready to fillet. Mackerel is a good fish to start with if you're just learning to fillet. The skin's very thin and the meat is softer than other fish, so you can easily get through the fillet with a few strokes. That's one fillet down. And we'll repeat the process on the other side. So today we're gonna pickle the mackerel and serve it in kind of a Scandinavian style with Swedish crisp bread, creme fraiche, and dill. So the first thing I'm gonna do is salt the fish. Then I'm gonna soak it in white vinegar and let it sit overnight in the fridge. I almost forgot to add the sugar. I just pulled it out after being in the fridge for a couple of minutes and you can already see the meat is starting to cure. Here's the fish after soaking overnight. The meat's cured and it's ready to eat. So I removed the rib cage bones. Sorry, I screwed up and I didn't turn the camera on. Anyways, I was gonna remove the pin bones but after inspecting the fish, I couldn't find them anymore they were completely dissolved by the curing process, not a trace of them. This is my first time actually making pickled fish and apparently it's not uncommon for vinegar and salt to dissolve the pin bones, which are already you know, pretty small, so who knew? So we can just move on to the next step, which is removing this thin layer of clear skin. Kind of reminds me of removing skin after a really bad sunburn. Then after that, I'm gonna slice the fillets into bite-sized pieces. And there it is. I love the skin pattern that Pacific mackerel have. Really beautiful. So this is Swedish crisp bread, which is kind of like a cracker on steroids. It stays crunchy even with all the stuff we're gonna put on it. You can find these at Ikea next time you pick up your Swedish meatballs and tea lights. Now I'm gonna put some creme fraiche on top of the crackers. Creme fraiche is basically a creamier, non-sour version of sour cream.
Now I'm just gonna place three pieces of mackerel on each cracker. And I've got some dill here that I'm just gonna pull from the stem and put on top. All right, here we go. We got our pickled herring on top of Swedish crisp bread with creme fraiche and dill. This looks good. Beyond good. You know, it's so funny because I was never a fan of pickled fish for so many years. And for some reason, I think that switch turned maybe about five years ago and stuff. I just started trying it at different restaurants and I became a big time fan. If you guys fish for mackerel and you're using it as bait and not eating it, you're missing out because this is really, really good. That creme fraiche really adds to the, to the richness of the whole thing. Creme fraiche, unlike sour cream, doesn't have that sour taste. You don't really need that since you have the pickled mackerel, which already adds that acidity. Mmm. Seriously, like the next time I have like a get together or something, some friends over, I'm gonna serve this to them and they're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how good this is. It's also a beautiful dish too. You can see, you know, that mackerel skin over there, that pattern that it has makes it so beautiful. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you really liked this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, if I still haven't made a mackerel fan out of you, this video will.